Meghan Markle's half-sister Samantha has once again taken aim at the Sussexes as she branded Prince Harry emotionally underdeveloped. Speaking with GB News Dan Witten, Samantha said she had read Spear and concluded Prince Harry is lacking empathy. She said, I think he, Harry, is lacking in empathy, remorse and shame. He is showing a clear disconnect with reality and is so emotionally underdeveloped that he can't move on from this stage where he has resentment over a whole host of issues. I don't think he can think like an adult because I don't think emotionally he is one. It's really par for the course that he's behaving in this bitter and delusionary way. It's an attention game, she continued, calling Harry a loose cannon and added that King Charles should take his words very seriously. Samantha went on, when you've got the Taliban pee off at you, and you're creating an Iranian international crisis. They're using statements you've made about the Taliban as justification for executing someone, then suddenly there's a much bigger problem than just juvenile delinquency and being at a fixated stage of development. Now we've got someone who is a loose cannon on the world stage and King Charles should be taking that very seriously. Samantha was referring to Harry's admission in Spear that he killed 25 Taliban soldiers while serving Afghanistan. His comments led to condemnation from Taliban leaders in Kabul and military veterans in the UK. In a recent interview, Harry said he would like this family to apologize to Meghan for how she has been treated. Speaking to The Telegraph, he said, now you could argue that some of the stuff I've put in there, well, they will never forgive me anyway. But the way I see it is, I'm willing to forgive you for everything you've done, and I wish you'd actually sat down with me, properly, and instead of saying I'm delusional and paranoid, actually sit down and have a proper conversation about this, because what I'd really like is some accountability. And an apology to my wife. But Samantha said that King Charles or any other family member apologizing to the Sussexes would be dangerous. She added, it would come with a great deal of risk and, I believe, be absolutely dangerous to do so. I'm not going to candy coat this. You're dealing with people who say they won't stop and who seem to want control. They've leaked security details about sensitive issues and created national and international security threats with their loose lips and their recklessness. She continued, they need to grow up, be accountable and humble enough to apologize themselves. That's what diplomats and humanitarians do. If King Charles apologizes to them, he is opening the door for more abuse. That's what happens when you apologize to sociopaths and narcissists. You find yourself beating a dead horse. And he cannot be apathetic and enable that sort of manipulation and control. Harry and Meghan have been very critical of the royal family in recent weeks. In December, they released a Netflix series in which they discussed their grievances with royal life. Then, Harry spoke to CBS and ITV about his frustrations, including his strained relationship with Prince William and King Charles. The release of Harry's memoir has led to more controversy surrounding the royals, including the allegation that he was physically attacked by his brother Prince William in 2019.